Hey guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade and this is what's for tea. So this was one of the freezer meals, the Chinese style pork steaks and we had it with Chinese rice, tender stem and green beans. There will be a link under the video if you want to check out them freezer meals. But yes, yeah, very nice. Very easy to cook. This was um, chicken salad, plenty of rabbit food, potatoes and whatever I could find in my fridge. If you can hear any noises, it's either the washer or the dog this morning. That's the washer. <laughs> so these are the flatbreads that Steve made. He has done a video on them. This is them just at, as, after he'd cooked them and he's put garlic butter on them with parsley. And this is what we used them for, for some beef kebabs. Very nice as well. Homemade fish and chips. Nom, nom, nom. We had this actually while the kids were at school. Um, so that when they had an after school club and Steve had to run around, we didn't have to worry about tea then. But yeah, it can't be it. Mother-in-law's tried that batter recipe as well and she said it's really nice. So it's got the seal of approval. So this was done in place of the Sunday meal because we had lasagna on Sunday and I've already recorded that. So this is a sausage bake. So as many sausages as, it, as you need to feed your family basically. I use two different types of sausages. I use some Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire chipolatas. Then I use some pork and apple just for a bit of a different flavour. You want to cook them so that they brown up. That's one leek washed, trimmed, added in. If anyone is interested in this recipe, just let me know and I'll put it in the description. And then I put, personally, three cloves of garlic, but you don't have to put three in. It's up to you. Or you can put none in, whatever. My freezer's that full, I couldn't find my green garlic, so I went with regular garlic and it's frozen, so it's hard to get out. <laughs> See where it's catching on the bottom there. You want it to do a lot more of that. Some S and P. So I did miss a little bit, and you'll see in a minute. Did vegetables on the side to serve with this. Oh, I didn't cut one. Look, look at that. So I just left this to fry off and that's the stock that I saved from some chicken and bay leaf. It's 900 mils of stock that you want, chicken stock. See where it's catching look. Right, so what, what I've done is I've forgotten to tell you that once the sausages are cooked through I added 100 mils of water and then I scraped all the bottom. That's what the colouring is. I've not added any stock or anything. That's what the colouring is there. It's from the sausages that are caught on the bottom of the pan. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is layer very thinly sliced potatoes all the way around. So you want 900 mils, sorry 800 mils now because I put 100 in there to bring up all that off the bottom. Allow your sausages to catch a little bit as well because that's going to make it this dark colour and give you that meaty flavour. So I've got 800 mils of cold chicken stock left. And as I say, it's the stock that I pulled from when I roasted the chicken earlier in the week. I just put it in the freezer. I didn't have the full amount, so I just added some water to it. And to the cold chicken stock, all you're going to do is add two tablespoons of corn flour and mix it, mix it through. And this will just be your thickener then. You 
You'll see in a minute when I put mine on. Do as many layers of potatoes if, as you want. I did two, I think. But we could have we could have done them with another one. And doing this it doesn't take long at all. So if you can take the time to make it a bit pretty, it does make a difference. You can see I'm not being exact, I'm just making it look a bit better than it would do if it was thrown on there. So I did two rows, as I said. I've got that stock to the side ready to go. I've turned the pan off while I'm doing this because I don't want the sausages and everything underneath to burn. But once I've done the two two rings, or if you decide to do three rings, whatever, of um, sliced potatoes, turn it back onto simmer, add in your stock. Be careful not to move your potatoes around too much. My stock was still a little bit... Um, frozen and jellified from the freezer but it doesn't make any difference it melt, melts down into it there we go. so you need to put your couple of tablespoons of corn flour into there look at that look <laughs> Doesn't look great, but it's just regular chicken stock. And that'll melt down. So I'm putting the hob back on. Just getting it going again. I still had um, some potatoes left. I should have done another ring, really. My eldest, Caitlin, didn't like this, but we didn't expect it to, to be honest, because it's cooked all in one pot. You know, it's just like by now. But the rest of us did. So I'm just adding some parsley. Fresh parsley would have been nice, but didn't have none. <laughs> I could do that, but I can't touch liver. <laughs> Weird, I know. This was so easy as well. You can see there's not a lot that goes into it, but it tastes so nice. So pop the lid on now into the oven for as long as it takes to cook, really. I mean, every oven's different. Mine was about two and a half hours on low, very low. And I served it with some Chantonade carrots, white cabbage and some Yorkshire's. That was it. That was it. Steve liked the gravy so much he was drinking it. Anyway, as I say, on Sunday we just had a homemade lasagna, homemade wedges, salad and garlic bread. And that was it. That was it. Didn't need to show you that again, so I thought I'd show you the Saturday one. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know if you want the recipe for the sausage bake. It is so easy. And I'll speak to you down in the comment section. Bye.